Welcome to video 11.4. Today we're going to be talking about circumference and arc length, and our objective for today is to find the circumference of a circle and the length of a circular arc. The circumference of a circle is the distance around the circle. For all circles, the ratio of the circumference to the diameter is the same. The ratio is known as pi, or pi, and you've probably seen this expressed as 3.14, and then a whole bunch of numbers expressed after. Theorem 11.6 gives the circumference of a circle, and the equation for the circumference of a circle is pi times d, or 2 pi times r where d is the diameter of the circle and r is the radius of the circle. We know that a semicircle is the length of one half the circumference and a 90 degree arc is the length of one quarter of the circumference. So, on this diagram on the right, on the left here, If we were going to find the circumference of a semicircle, it would just be half of 2 pi r, or pi r. And if we were going to find the length of a 90 degree arc, it would be 1 quarter of 2 pi, or pi over 2 times r. So we're using this to look at the, semi the circumference of a semicircle and the circumference of a 90 degree arc. Now we looked at semicircles and 90 degree arcs, but we can find the measure of any arc uh, depending on what part of the circle we're looking at. So when we're talking about arc lengths, we're talking about a portion of the circumference of a circle. So when we have a circle, the ratio of the length of a given arc to the circumference is equal to the ratio of the measure of the arc to 360 degrees. So if we're given an arc length, we can figure out what the measure of that arc length by setting up this proportion. So we have some arc length over the entire circle equals the measure of that arc, meaning the degrees, over the degrees of a whole circle, or 360 degrees. You can also think of it as the circumference of an arc over the circumference of a circle is equal to the measure of that arc to the measure of the circle. This might be more helpful if you want to think about it this way. But this way works too. So let's do a few practice problems now about finding the circumference. So for problem A, we want to find the circumference of a circle with a radius of 10.5 inches. So we know the equation for circumference is 2 pi r. But instead of r, we are now going to plug in 10.5. Now the answer to this would be 21 pi inches. And you can leave it in terms of pi. For part B, we have to find the radius of a circle with a circumference of 25 feet. So now we know the circumference is 25. So now we just work backwards. We know the area for circumference is 2 pi r. But since we know that circumference is 25, we do 25 equals 2 pi r and they want to get r by itself. So we divide both sides by 2 pi. So our radius is going to equal 25 over 2 pi feet. For these, if you want to leave them in terms of pi, that's fine. If you like to multiply them out, that's fine too. So now let's find the measure of each arc. So let's use the modified version of the equation that I gave you earlier. So if we want to find the measure of this arc, we want to find is the circumference of that arc 
over the circumference of the circle. And that's equal to the measure of the arc over the measure of the circle. So this is the proportion we're going to be using. So we want to find the length of the arc. So this is basically our variable. We want to find out what the measure of this arc is right here. So this will be our variable. Now we're going to find the circumference of our circle. That's 2 pi r. The measure of the arc is 45 degrees. And we know the entire measure of a circle is 360. Now we actually know what r is, so we can, re we can rewrite this Instead of putting R here, we can write 3 inches. So now our proportion looks like this. X equals 6 pi over 45 degrees of 360. So we have to solve for X. So now we're going to cross multiply. Now here you might probably want to uh, do out what pi is just so you can get a solid number here. So we're going to have 360x equals 45 times 6 pi, which comes out to be 848. So now we divide both sides by 360. And x is going to equal 2.35. So I'll recap what we did. We found the circumference of the circle. We're trying to find the circumference of the arc. We knew the measure of the arc, and we know the measure of a circle is always 360 degrees. So we plugged in, we cross multiplied, got 360x equals 848. Remember, here at this step, we solved out for pi. So we find that in your calculator to figure out what uh, 6 times pi is. Then we've got 360x equals 848, divided both sides by 360, and got x equals 2.35 inches. In this problem, we're going to find the circumference of the circle, but we're also going to find the arc length of CD. So to find the circumference, we know that the area for circumference is 2 pi r. We know that our radius is 6. So our circumference is 12 pi centimeters. If we do this out, we end up with 37.7 centimeters. So we found the circumference of the circle. But now what I want to find is the arc length of CD. So we set our proportion. We have the circumference of CD is equal to the circumference of the circle. And that proportion equals to the measure of CD over the measure of the circle. So we're trying to find the arc length of CD, so that's our X. We know the circumference of our circle is 37.7. We know the measure of CD is 115, and the measure of all circles is 360. So when I do this out, I'm going to have 360X equals 4,335.5 and when I divide both sides by 360 I end up with 12 centimeters now for this problem we're going to find the circumference of the circle but now we're not given the radius we don't know what r is. So we can use the proportion that we learned in this section, but we're going to have to work a little backwards. So our proportion is the circumference of 
an arc is proportional to the circumference of the circle, and that's equal to the measure of the arc over the measure of the circle. So we're going to have to plug some values in and solve for our variable r. So the circumference of our arc we actually know. It's 4.5. Now we know the equation for circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. Now r is a variable we're going to be solving for, so we actually want to look for that. Now we know the measure of the arc is 72 degrees, and like I said, the measure of every circle is 360 degrees. So now we're going to cross multiply. And we do that, we're going to end up with 1,620, 452.4 R. So notice that here I multiplied 72 times 2, and I did out the value of pi. And now we're left with R. So now we just need to solve for R. So we divide both sides by 452.4. And we get R equals 3.6 units. So this is our radius, and we're not done because we, our goal is to find the circumference of the circle. So to find the circumference of the circle, we have to do 2 pi times our R, which is 3.6. And when we solve this out, we get a circumference of 7.2 pi units. If you want to do this out with the pi, this equals 22.6 units. And that is our circumference. In this diagram, we're given a rectangle with four cutout quarter circles in it. So what we want to do is we want to find the perimeter of the entire region. So we know the perimeter is the distance around the entire region. So we know the perimeter goes from here, 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 and here. Okay, so we're going to break this down into two parts. The first distance we want to find is all the flat parts. So we'll call it the flat perimeter. And this is the easier part. To find the flat perimeter, what it is, is 2 plus 6. This side is 2 as well, plus 6. So it's 12 plus 4, 16 inches. Okay, that's the easier part. So now what we need to do is figure out the curve perimeters. Or how we've learned in this section, the circumference. So we have to use our circumference equation. But the only difference now instead of doing this as the entire circumference since it's 90 degrees it's a quarter of our circle so what we're going to do is we're going to find one of these and then we're going to figure out what the other four are so we have 2 pi r now the radius of these we have to look at this entire length here if this entire length is 6 inches and this right here is 2. That means there's 4 inches left between here and here. If there's 4 inches left between here and here, and these are equal, we know the radius has to be 2. So, can't forget we're multiplying this whole thing by a quarter, because we're only left with a quarter circle. So when we do this, we're going to put 4 pi divided by 4 equals pi. Now right here we found 1 
quarter circle. We look at this four quarter circles. So what we really want to do is multiply this now by four. So that means our total perimeter is 16 plus 4 pi inches. So the 16 comes from the flat perimeter and then to recap what we did for the curved perimeter first thing we found the circumference of a quarter circle and since there was four circles, we multiplied that by four. That is the end of this section. I hope this was helpful. Once again, thank you and take care.